Hello, how's it going out there? Hope things are okay. So, time has come to do our little gravel bike project. So, the plan is convert my gravel bike, my Voodoo Limber gravel bike, to have normal straight bars like a mountain bike or any road bike or touring bike. I've not, I've looked it looked into it a little bit it does look like it's going to be a bit of a mission because i've never changed these kind of handlebars or brakes before but it's a learning curve that's probably why you're here to watch this video to give you hints and tips maybe if it all goes peak tong i'll let you know if it doesn't go peak tong happy days i'll have a easier bike for my ride to work every day so first things first what are we going to need we are going to need one set of grips, but you can guess they're going to be OD, can't you? You're going to need a stem. I've got a DMR stem with some DMR handlebars. I'm a bit OCD about my makes. I like to have things matching. You're going to need, by, I'm going to spin the camera around now, you're going to need a shifting lever. For the front mechanism and a rear shifter and you're going to need some brakes obviously i've gone for shimano all the way through it uses shimano front and rear derailleurs because it's a two two by um geared gear system not a one by like the uh, most modern decent mountain bikes nowadays it is a two by so obviously I'm going to try and keep that to try and keep the gear range and obviously the shifters are all within the brake brake levers, levers so it's all needs changing so I will be changing the uh, brakes as well so we've gone it's it's got currently got Tetro cable operated disc brakes we will be going with a uh, Shimano Dior M4100 brake set up front and rear so anyway shall we get cracking i'll be doing this in a series of uh videos i'll be starting off with with, with the uh with the uh, strip strip down and fitting of the handlebars and the stem then we'll be working our way up to the gears i think first or the brakes maybe depending on how it goes but anyway Please like, 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 and like and like and subscribe. These uh, this uh, channel. And remember, click the bell icon so you can uh, get notifications when I post this series of videos up. Because they'll be coming up once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Once I've done a bit of ed editing with them. But uh, anyway, so get cracking. See you in a bit. So remember, we're doing the handlebars and the stem first. So we go. Let's start to strip it down. Show it. Let's get rid of this. I need that for this little job. I don't think do. We? are off panniers to one side so let's get this cable off what are we going to need we're going to need a wide range of tools by the looks of things so I'm lucky enough to have some tools a bit of alcohol as well to keep me going got my little tool kit got a range of tools as you can see, it should make life a bit easier. This is sketchy. I don't really like doing this because this bike's only been ridden about 10 miles. But hey, hey, ready, steady. And my snips have failed. Get to that in a minute. One. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put completely new cables on as well. Because I think I'm going to have to unthread these anyway. In fact, 
we might leave that for now see what I can get away with up on the bars also you're gonna need cable ties as well That's the first bit done. Light off. Let's get the toolkit open. It's a bit hard to do it with one handed, I, I suppose. You know, remember, if you like these videos, like, like, like and subscribe there'll be many more to come and it'll be a big change of plan to our channel remember we're going over to a family based channel with a few family blogs every now and again we're talking about my uh daughter's uh, stepdaughter's type 1 diabetes our disney holidays etc etc there'll be lots of stuff to come and lots of stuff to do and lots of stuff to watch so i hope you'd like like to see some of that at some point oh look at that spot on first time crack one two you'll probably be seeing quite a bit of that tall gravity as in the words words rain man ray repairs And I just noticed, look at that Helfords. Partially more I thought I should have checked with that as well. Ding ding. So by the looks of it, I've got to take the grip tape off. I don't have many nails. Obviously, I'll be keeping all the old, these old bits. So should I ever come to sell this bike, it's all there, ready to rock and roll and go to a new owner. And I'll remove the old bits anyway. Okay, not too bad. So again, like I said, I've never done this before. Oh. Might be needing new bar tape if we ever need to fit new these bars back on. <laughs> oh well. I must say it's a bit chilly in this shed anyway, so that's probably why. A bit chilly in my workshop. So anyway, I hope you all, all had a good Christmas. How was your Christmas? Have a little chat in the in the box boxes in the comments down below. Just have a little chat. What else would you like to see on this video channel? As I said, I'll be changing things to family related, but you, you can give us some hints and tips on what you might like. We'll be having a little walk around Margate as well, possibly at some point. In introducing my partner pop in the children at some point as well are we doing all that but comment in the box below on what you'd like to see take that tape off if I can get away of using these cables happy days if I can't in fact I don't think I will be able to thinking about it like I said this is a total minefield for me so by the looks of it that bolt there if you can see that that one will be releasing the brake anyway the cable goes up in there so you know what I might just take these cables off full stop it'll just make life a bit easier we place the gear in all together So yes, that's what I'm going to do, I think. 
we've got new cables a new sheathing to go on anyway so let's just do that let's find some better snips though shall we so i think those snips have had it let's see if these ones are doing the job you know what probably not but hey So I think one thing I need to invest in is some new snips. There's probably people out there going, yeah, new snips, ah, I'm going to throw the edges. Yes, I'm going to throw the edges. But again, that doesn't matter too much because, there we go. There we go, look at that. There's a cobweb on that. That's how often I use this bike. That's better. So, what size is that? No, no. Take the range of adding keys with me. There's one, cable off. So I think, oh no, I've got to do break the calipers yet as well, haven't I? Whoa, whoa. That could have been entertaining, couldn't it? Let's do that cable next. Put a few bits of this going on as well. Look at the other snips again. There. One, two, three. And what I'll do in a minute, I'll spin the bike round. I'll get the calipers off and I can probably get easier access to the other side and I can get my Allen key over there as well then. so I will we'll be putting this up on the stand in a bit as well so it'll make life a bit easier if you've got a stand Great, if you don't, it can be done, I reckon. Just make life just a bit easier with your stand. If you can get one, Lidl's or Aldi's do them every now and again. They're not expensive, I think my one's about 35 quid off eBay. And that's a fairly cheap one. There probably are cheap ones out there, but that one's done the job. It's not brilliant. I'll show it to you in a second. Well, at some point in this video, you'll probably see it. Was that bit off? So by the looks of it, this had a little sheathing. Stop any crap getting down. Ooh. Looks like a mini condom. For an elf maybe, an elf on the shelf's condom. Try and sheath that back over the top. That'll do. Doesn't matter too much. So. We're going to cut it off. So remember, like I said, there'll be a series of videos. So I don't think I'll be able to do this in one night. But I've got a few days off work. Dee dee dee, is that what the cable tie on is? One, fine, fine, uh, one final cable tie for that front brake. There we go. There is that. 
So calipers off. Now also, I need to give advice. If you do do this, you may avoid, you may void your Halford's warranty. You probably will void your warranty, but I'm just gonna say may. So be warned, if you tinker, and you break it, tough. Basically, you're going to have to fix it yourself. <clears throat> or pay someone an extortionate amount to do it, because you bug it up. One bolt. Like I said, I keep all my bits. So should I ever come to sell one of my bikes, I can put it back to standard and I can keep the parts. Nothing like, go use those parts again on your next project, on your next bike. It's immensely satisfying but if the people want to buy the bike modified fine sorry about the little shift around now oh gosh to make it so I've got better access to the rear cap And we are nearly done. Nearly stripped down, ready to start putting it back together. I don't think that was too bad, was it? So according to the time on this, 15 minutes to strip down. It takes you long, longer to strip, strip down naked after a few drinks. Sometimes I can't even do that. Oh. De -de -de. Done. One bolt, two bolt, gravity. The bolts up there. Put those out there, there for now. I try not to be a messy worker, but unfortunately I am sometimes. I don't mean to be. It's just my way. Is it? But I do like to tidy up after every job. So I know where my tools will always be. Right, let's do this, shall we? Oh, you poo bum. So I think, oh no, top cap. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, got the bolt. to one side all done all in one so as said we'll be replacing the gear cables as well now there goes the phone but there's gear cables with the gear levers anyway so it makes sense I suppose to use them and away we go so whilst we're at it give it a quick once over even though it's only done a few miles but let's get those bars fitted shall we we've got the stem in the bars that's a bit odd that isn't it it's gonna look a bit odd anyway but pff, I don't care it's gonna be for me to use so Oh look, goodies, goodies, goodies. Let's pop you on here, shall we, whilst I unwrap this.
you're wondering why my hood is always looking so scruffy so I use this one 24-7 well I won't say 24-7 duh gonna got that scruff bag now but this is the one I wear out to my shed when I'm working on the bikes so I don't ruin a good hoodie and cause any more washing up or washing clothes and washing what did I do with my other Allen belt this is why I don't like being a messy worker that's in my pocket isn't it so loosen these off if I remember rightly from last time on the mountain bike video of the stem you've got to take these off completely anyway so pop these completely off Da -da -da. thank you DMR so again not sponsored in any, any way or form uh, DMR or OD or Shimano want to sponsor me you know what to do and sponsor me at a1976shorter at hotmail.co.uk that is my email bit of grease on there that's all right cool good so that's a stem off in fact there's a snips snips are off cables off done so let's go over here So, with that little gap there, it looks like we're going to need another spacer. So, luckily, I've always been prepared. I can see a nice little spacer there. Nice little set of spacers. Want to map one if we can, it's shiny. Shiny. I'm going to need one more on that. So what we'll do, in fact, let's see if we've got a copper one. Let's add an orange one to it, shall I? Oh, now I can see a copper one now. Now, let's add an orange one, so this will give a little hint of my current bike, of my mountain bike. So what we'll do, lift that. That. Dee -dee -dee. So, Unite, again, love their stuff. Love Unite products. So it's going to sit quite high. I don't really want to trim any, any of the forks. Because I want, like I said, I want to try and keep it as standard as possible if it's so if it's possible to do. I can't just sell it. So, oh. so there's a nice little outtake. <laughs> that serves me right. <laughs> Everything went for a little one. One, two, three, four. There's a stem. <laughs> so, Odin's top tip start it off if you can in the bike sound straight away. So you don't fuck up like that and look like an idiot on the video. So anyway, let's do that. I think I might got that. Yeah, that's around the wrong way. You're a plonker, Adrian. Absolute plonker.
So like that, so that goes down into the ball race. That. That over the top, the little rubber seal to give it a bit more of a waterproofing, I'll take it. That cap over the top. And spacers. Just notice the plastic spacers they put on there. It's a bit odd. So those budgets and all that. Do, do, do. Two. Three. Stem on. So I think what we'll do to stop that happening again. Put stem cap on. Stem, stem cap. Bolt. Pinch those up. So let's do the handlebars now. Let's pop you guys just here. Damn my bars. I've got these on my girlfriend's bike. Absolutely great bars. She likes them. They're quite a high rise. I like a high rise bar. Let's make I just Gives you more of a sit, sitting up position, which is what I like. Now I'm trying to do this one handed. Do, do, do. I could always set the stem up, can I? Set the camera up on a pod. But there they do. That didn't go on. So let's put you up here. Get the adding key. Not fighting with it. As I said on the other video, I normally grease these up, but I can tell these are really got plenty of grease on them, so I won't be needing to do any of that, which is handy. As I said, the reason why I grease them, it stops any corrosion, or helps stop any corrosion. I wouldn't say it would do it completely, but it will help prevent any corrosion in the future. So I said, this is going to look more like an old retro style mountain bike. If you're from that era, you will know what I mean. It'll be a sort of 80s, 90s old rally kind of mountain bike, I suppose. Old GT, maybe. I was unfortunate enough to never have anything like that. I come from quite a poor background, you suppose you could say. Make sure I've got the right one. Again, I don't think it really matters, but it's just a case of it looks better. It's a bit neater. So should anyone criticize your work? So I think this one's upside down.
We're on the wrong side. But we'll have a look. Perhaps not. But we'll put it on this side. <coughs> I can see the foot pound of torque on the other clamp. Let's pinch these up for now. One. So I won't be cutting the bars yet either. The guards, bars will be cut at the last minute. I need to find the right riding position for me. I won't be having these bars super wide, like I would do on a norm, normal mountain bike. I like my bars quite wide. Eight like I suppose you could say. But these will be as narrow as possible down to the middle, I suppose. Which I think is this is 670 mil because these are 770 mil bars. So I'll be taking 100 mil off. Let's make it a bit narrower for the old traffic. Because unfortunately, I do have to cycle down a quite a narrow road as well. But anyway, as said, that is the bars and the stem on for now. That will do. Next thing will be the brakes or the gears. Long size Adam bolt. So remember, you're going to need different tools for different stems and. Not every bike is exactly the same, unfortunately. But this is a 31.8 mil bar with a 31.8 mil stem, uh, stem with a 35 mil reach. I wanted it quite a short reach because I like them quite snappy. This is a size medium bike as well, so I wanted it to be a bit more set upright. Let's put that to pinch out for now. And there we go. There is oh, <laughs> the bars and the stem on, pinched up for now. Now to do, right, anyway. Remember, if you're enjoying these videos, give them a thumbs up, give the whole channel a like and a sub, 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 subscribe. And this is a series of videos, so this is stage one, where we're just fitting the bars, strip down and fitting the bars and the stem to get us going. So anyway, series two will be coming very soon. Do that in a week's time or so. And the week after that, series three. I think there's going to be about four or five series. And then uh, we'll go from now. Anyway, catch you all soon. Always wear a helmet. Like and subscribe. Adios amigos.